automated market maker, one of the engines of the crypto world to overtake the traditional financial world, be part of an exchange and earn money without owning it. How has automated market maker changed the structure of exchanges? Hi, here in Crypto Market, you can learn everything about crypto. In this video, I'm going to talk about DEX or Decentralized Exchange, explain the anatomy of Automated Market Maker, and clarify how to make money with it. Decentralized Exchange or DEX is a platform where you can trade your cryptocurrency tokens without any oversight of central controlling entities like the traditional banks do. There is no central authority and instead there is the blockchain. DEXs can be implemented in different ways. Some replicate the order book format of a centralized exchange. The order book is the list of all open orders that are currently available on an exchange for a specific trading pair. An open order is essentially another investor saying they are willing to buy or sell an asset at a specific price. An example of an order book could be for the BTC USD trading pair. The order book will have the corresponding buy and sell orders that customers have placed on the exchange to either buy or sell Bitcoin for US dollars. Instead of using an order book, more recent attempts at establishing DEXs have revolved around the use of automated market makers, which is what this video focused on. An automated market maker works similarly to an order book exchange, which in that there are trading pairs, for example, Ethereum and DAIN. However, you don't need to have a counterparty on the other side to make a trade. Instead, you interact with a smart contract that makes the market for you. You could think of AMMs as peer-to-contract. There is no need for counterparties in the traditional sense, as trades happen between users and contracts. Since there is no order book, there are also no order types on an automated market maker. What price you get for an asset you want to buy or sell is determined by a formula instead. The formula can vary with each protocol, but the most common one used by already established protocols is X times Y equals K, where X stands for the number of a certain token deposited in the liquidity pool, Y stands for the number of tokens of another coin in that same pool, and K stands for the constant and balanced price. The formula above essentially means that if you want to withdraw a certain amount of token X, you must also deposit token Y in equal amounts to prevent imbalance. Let's assume that there are 2700 WBTC and 86,000 Ethereum in Uniswap's Ethereum and WBTC pool. This reserve ratio implies that Ethereum's market price is 0 0.0314 WBTC. The market price only moves as the reserve ratio of the tokens in the pool changes, which happens when someone trades against it. To explore an example, what happens if the price on Binance falls to 0.0310 WBTC? That implies Uniswap LPs are currently buying Ethereum at a premium, creating an arbitrage opportunity. As a result, arbitragers buy the cheap Ethereum on Binance and sell it on Uniswap for an immediate profit. They keep doing this until the next unit of Uniswap Ethereum only pays 0 0.0310 WBTC, same as on Binance, and they can no longer profit by selling more. In our example above, this point is reached after selling 550 Ethereum to the pool for 17.2 WBTC. As a result, even though automated market makers don't update their prices based on incoming real-world information, Traders can still expect the price coded by an AMM to closely track the global market price because of continuous arbitrage. But how does the nature of automated market maker give us a chance to make money? AMMs cannot function without users providing liquidity into crowdsourced pools of tokens. Since the very existence of an AMM depends on liquidity provision, it only makes sense that they would have to adopt incentives to reward people that help drive the entire system forward. By participating on platforms like Uniswap and providing liquidity, people can collect part of the profit share from trading fees from trades that are happening. 
The easiest way to do that is to provide two separate tokens into a smart contract liquidity pool of your choice and leave them there to help swaps execute. Be sure to watch our video about liquidity pool to not miss anything out. Users can either take profit and leave their assets staked in the liquidity pool or remove all assets at the same time. Typically, automated market makers pay out with their own native token, which is created to represent the value that the liquidity provider has added to reward them for their assistance.